What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be on Epic 7. We're checking out our one minute preview as we do every time it comes around. So this will be, this is a patch that's going in on the 21st. So it'll be later on tonight. So make sure you do your dailies ahead of time. We're going to be getting a winter check-in, a winter holiday celebration event, a new character, Blooming Lydica. Uh, Blooming, her name makes me think she has to do with the story that's probably going on with Biblis. Um, as well as a new live illustration that has to do with that story. So guys, you have been working on that story. I have not really been, it's been picking up at work. It's, it's, it's late in the holidays. So I'm gonna try to start on it, but I heard it had to do, well, I've seen it had something to do with a garden building a garden up. So it seems like it's gonna be a lot of work to do. So I have to work on it and grind it. But, those are what's going to be going on. We're going straight fully into the holidays here. So I guess we're getting holiday stuff. But um, Bad Cat, Armin, and Abigail both going to be in, this, in the exclusive equipment. I guess to help bring them back into the game more. Abigail is still kind of probably used. She was one of those characters that had something unique to her anyway. Uh, Bad Cat, Armin probably only being used for PvE. So we'll see. Um, new skin, portrait reveal, and you got the world arena as well as some UI. I think they always working on the UI, which is good. It brings quality of life to the game. Here's gonna be our winter check-in right here. We're gonna got some leaves, some, some um, bookmarks. I see some um, blooms right there. Some Malagor as usual. Then I guess you got two summons. So one you get early, and one you get later. So those are going to be good for the account. And I guess every day you get that uh, energy. Uh, winter celebrations. We're getting a free covenant summon event as well as an all buff event. So we're going to have all buffs active. And I don't know if they're going to do it where it's one per day too. Or if it's going to be all active for one day or for two days. It, it, you have to look on the stove event calendar to see. So don't forget to check the in-game calendar guys to see what they have posted about this stuff. And if it's not posted till later on today or until tomorrow, you know, you still can look that day too. And here's the a little preview of Blooming Lytica. My gosh, she got that man eater plant. She's gonna be cool. Um, she's a leaf, I mean, excuse me, earth thief. I don't know that sign. Uh, a plant driven by madness who craves blood. Man, she's going to be interesting. And she is getting a new artifact. Hopefully it's something that's usable. This is an illustration background. We have characters in the background. So, yeah. If you want that, you can get that from that past, like I said. Here's Abigail Blooming Rose. Um, it's going to be the name of her... Um, exclusive thing we have effectiveness on it and she's gonna get either a ambush or scarlet garden skill upgrade so this one says increased damage dealt by ambush by 20 percent and for the skill three event ones it's gonna be either a decrease defense on the enemy for two turns after using scarlet garden or decrease the cooldown of scarlet gardens both of those sound very interesting and very useful so um even the ambush one probably could be but i don't think people use her for her ambush ability but no there'd be a reason to try using her even if it's just in a pve event bad car cat armor she's getting the bad cat stamp uh, she's getting an upgrade for skill one and skill three skill one is going to be increased hearts to are you ready chance to provoke by 10% so she's gonna provoke on that and then her skill 3 is gonna either add um, an increase to the barrier screen by 30% or decrease the buff duration of the target by one when using the skill um, is this it nah, nah. or is it nah ha ha yeah nah ha ha <laughs> yeah so that was gonna be that and like we said, it's, it's, you saw the World Arena um, 
season is ending. This is probably gonna be the skin, Harmonic Conductor Bellion. Oh my gosh. It looks nice. I don't really like Bellion as a character. Not really, but maybe it's probably just because she's a villain. I don't know. But her design looks cool. Her designs look cool. Um, global band for that was gonna be Blooming Lutica, so the flower. UI improvements. That's what I want to see. Um, looks like they're just gonna do like some slight upgrades here. Has to do with the color of the background for certain things. It looks like it's this right here has to do with that. Oh, artifacts. I'm not really sure though, but we'll see. Arunka drop rate is coming, so if you don't have her, you want to pull for her. And Elena, both of those good, great characters. And we also have Blooming Lilica. Oh, it does say limited drop up here. So yeah, she's a limited character. So make sure you pull for her. You don't want to end up getting a missed it. Uh, limited character, not getting limited character, and they be super strong. And you got to wait a full year for them to be ran again. Guys, that's all for the update. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to check out the stove event page to see more details on some of those things guys it might be worth reading and i'll see you in the next video